Hi guys, it's Monica. I know I've been missing in action, but for a very, very good reason. I know I've hinted a couple of times that we had some really exciting things coming up and we have a trip planned and all of that. Well, I'm going to include some footage in this vlog and you can see that I have this wonderful, wonderful woman sitting right next to me. Hi everybody. I don't think she needs an introduction, but if those of you that may not know her, I doubt if there's anyone that doesn't know no, you, but this is my lovely, lovely friend, Marlene Fabin Glam, over 50. For those of you that follow her beauty channel and for those of you that follow her wig reviews, it's Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio. Yeah. Yep. And I will link both her channels below. But anyways, I'm at Marlene's house. We have been having a blast. And I hope you stay tuned because I'm going to share a little bit of what's been happening since we got here. And then there'll be a part two. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much. So anyways, Jay and I got on a plane and we left cold New Hampshire and we we flew to Venice. Well, actually, we flew to Sarasota, Florida, where we spent the first phase, I call it phase, of our vacation. And we, we just had a blast. We landed in Sarasota. It was warm, but a little chillier than I expected. But we stayed with uh, my mother-in-law, Barbara, and she has a beautiful little condo. And we just, we went to the beach, include some footage of the beach right here so you can see. How is that? Yummy. Is it as good as my margaritas? No, I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> and oh my gosh i mean what can i say about florida beaches right they're absolutely beautiful so we did the usual tourist trap we went mm -hmm. out to we had lunch um, on the water and we had a, a sort of a tropical cocktail and jay and i just enjoyed the views just to be beachside was just amazing we did that we went on a bike ride it was just an awesome that must have been fun oh my gosh it was ever fun we went to um pedigo there's a pedigo dealer in in um in sarasota actually and we rented two e-bikes from them and uh, the e-bike i rented was one i'd never driven before but the one that jay rented was his interceptor but smaller size and it was, I think, a 28 mile round trip, wow. trip on their rail trail, the Legacy Trail. It was, it was awesomely well maintained, paved, clean, really nice, mostly flat. When we brought our bikes back, we like, I mean, we, I think we were gone for like four or five hours because we rented for the whole day. When we brought our bikes back and we told the guy where we went, he cracked up laughing. He says, You hardly have a dent in your battery. And it's because we use leg power as much as possible and then the electric power just to help us if we need it so he was kind of impressed that we uh, we did mostly pedaling and and especially jay, jay that's a long bike ride right. she had me at 28 miles i would have conked out it was well i was tired <laughs> my butt hurt when we got back and we got off the bike seats but i felt exhilarated i really did it was it was just awesome so we spent a few days in, in Venice with Barbara, and then we went to what we call Haynes City, a place called Haynes City, where Jay golfed with a buddy of his from his golf league. They were gracious enough to host us at their home. They have a beautiful, beautiful condominium. Um, not a condominium. Is it, maybe it's in a, no, they have a, it's a detached single family home in a planned community. And it's a gated community and so they had a lanai with a pool and a hot tub and i'll i'll enclose a few pictures here and um, the the most interesting thing is that i had never met either of these people before but jay has known the husband jim from for many many years and just really respects him and feels really comfortable with him and they've been talking back and forth for a long time about this so but his wife Susan I had never met and you know sometimes when you meet a stranger right or someone you don't know sometimes you don't know yeah. how it's gonna go right I mean conversations mm -hmm. there are low in the conversation right but quite frankly I don't know what it was and I'm sh and I'm pretty sure she feels the same way because both of us marveled at the fact that 
here we were virtual strangers and both of us probably a little anxious, right? Because we we're gonna spend a couple of days together in their home and you know, she's hosting us and doesn't know us. But it was it was amazing. We had so much in common, things that I would say, she's oh I, I feel the same way, or I've done this or vice versa. So Susan and I feel like a, I've a long lost sister in that sense, you know, because I just felt like I had this huge, huge connection. You would love her if you got to meet her. Yeah, you but you're also really her. easy to get along with. I mean, Monty <laughs> and I, right from the get go, it was like we had known each other forever. So I am not surprised at all. I, I was going to definitely say that I think I'm easy to get along with. I am. Um, I'm not too judgmental in general, but I was going to say getting along with her reminded us when we first met, mm -hmm. remind me of that. But um, anyways, we, we stayed there and then the highlight of coming here was coming up to Melbourne yeah. where Marlene is. And just a little history for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, Marlene and I met, I don't know, well, we just did a week collaboration and I think we said six, seven years ago, could six even be seven longer, years I'm not ago, too yeah. sure. But we met and then we met Sheila um, life with Lily at that time, simply right. Sheila now, but she's not active on YouTube anymore. And um, we just all connected. Even though we mm -hmm. hadn't met, we connected, right. we bonded, we talked, we did did all sorts of stuff. And then we decided, let's do a mm -hmm. girls weekend. Yeah, and we got together in South, Car South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, over by Sheila's. And we had always talked on, you know, via email or or um, what we use boxer and we always talked i mean every day 10 times a day sometimes but we hadn't actually met in person so it was awesome getting together in myrtle beach and spending a what it was almost a week right it was yeah. that's when you when you hit ten thousand subscribers i did yes when i hit ten thousand subscribers yeah. on my channel you guys got me the cake i'll yeah. post some of the <laughs> some of the pictures if i can find them but um, they got me a, a congratulations cake and all that. And we did a bunch of shopping. And yeah, we and did. It was, That's it right. Was, went to the coach store. And yeah. And you bought a coach bag. And yes, I, I did. And did as well. And we went to, did makeup stuff. And it was we had a lot of fun. We had we had an absolute blast. And, the, and that was the first time we had been in person wow. together. And we just laughed the whole time. And yeah. I, I mean, there was no awkward... No. It was the same thing I was saying with Susan, you know, there's, we don't have any awkward pauses, you know, mm -hmm. like, what do I say next? You know, you're not even right. thinking of that, right? right? We're just like yapping like we are now. Right. And you know, right. I said, sit down, be in my vlog, and here she is, Yeah, you know? Right. And remember, we did that video, it was Sheila, Monica, and me, and I don't remember, some, one of them said something, or I said, and it, we were just laughing. It had it, to have it, been Sheila that it said It had to be Sheila that had said something, and we were just... It, it was it was so funny. It was hysterical, and I think I made a funny face, and they left that in the footage. We, yeah, that video we, was because it was like yes. Little, I think that was I think that was my thumbnail. It probably was. I put the thumbnail, and it was the three of us just cracking up. Oh, so we Jay and I drove from from um, Haines City, and um, up to Melbourne, and and we had a little bit of traffic, but the ride was really smooth. We got here, Marlene was here, and. Oh my gosh, I, I wanted to, I was, I was teary anyways. I mean, I wanted to just hug her because I hadn't seen her in so long. And it was like so nice to just be in person again. And I have to say, Jay's been an awesome, uh, yes, he's he been has. awesome because he, has. he, he was going to go golfing and then that got canceled due to the wind, weather, or whatever. And he's, he, he's just been vegging so, and enjoying it while well, us chicks are doing our thing. While we're playing in my wig closet and we're playing with makeup and recording. Yeah. Oh, we had a blast. So I'm going to include some fit footage right now of the first night that we got. We went out to a place called Wiggly Squigglies. Willy, no, we Willy, <laughs> Willy something. Boat Fish Willies. Oh, yes. And it was awesome. Marlene made a you know call to make sure we could get in and we were down on a deck and overlooking mm -hmm. the Indian Beach Indian Harbor Beach oh, uh, the gorgeous. Indian River Indian River and it was it was a perfect timing because it was still kind of mild and it was just beautiful sitting there we both had wonderful food and we just we just chit chatted like crazy it was really nice mm -hmm. and then the next day we drove yeah. where did we go we went all the way we tried to go to Jetty we tried right we went to Cape Canaveral we drove on a1a all the way to Cape Canaveral and then we we tried to go into Jetty Park 
and we weren't able to go in there. And then we turned around and went down to Melbourne Beach. That was beautiful. Beautiful yeah. ride. We stopped a couple of places. This beach that we stopped at, uh, where I'm showing you the footage right now. Oh, that's right. We mm -hmm. we took a bunch of pictures. Marlene took a picture of Jay and I kissing on the beach, and then we mm -hmm. tried to do selfie, you know, selfie with the three of us. I did a little mm -hmm. video clip showing the the beach. It was just perfect. I mean, it was mm -hmm. just beautiful. And I'm so surprised at how beautiful this whole area is. And mm -hmm. you know, I can see why you live here. Yeah. it is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it here. I've lived here since '91, and I love it. Yeah. Uh, and last night we went to a squid lips, squ squid, legs, lips. Squ squid lips, like the squid, like the fish, yeah, like the seafood squid, squid lips. Yep, that's <laughs> where we went. Squid lips. <laughs> Weird names the restaurants down here. <laughs> so we did that, and we walked on this pier. I'm going to show you a bunch of pictures mm -hmm. as I'm talking. And the pier was, it was so pretty because it was all lit up at night and there was some guy out there cleaning a fish or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he was cleaning the fish that he had just caught. But there I was in my my puffer jacket with a hood <laughs> from home, right? Because we left, it was pretty cold, wearing flip-flops on a pier in Florida. Yeah. That was, that was incredible. And uh, then today, and I will, depending on, I don't know what's coming first or whatever, but if those two videos are uploaded before this one, I will link them, but if not, um, make sure you check out the videos that Marlene and I did on her channel for, we tried a bunch of wigs on. What I have on my head right now is called Charlie from Tressalore, and this is in a color that I always said I would never wear, right? <laughs> This is what they call dark smoke gray. Yep, dark smoke gray. <laughs> and I haven't taken it off. I is actually, I, I, I just think it looks beautiful it. on you. Thank you. I do. So we did a little swap a you know, and Marlene would talk about the wig. We'd each try it on and stuff like that. So we did two videos. That was, that was, that was so much fun. What do you have on? I have on uh, John Renault Elizabeth in Elizabeth. the color Salted Caramel. And that's the one that is hand tied? This is a hand tied cap that's with a full mono top. Yeah, heat friendly fibers. That's the one I tried on and really liked. And too. that right, yeah. you really like that one too. Anyways, I I've, I've been like a kid in a candy store. If you can imagine <laughs> going into a place where like a wig store and just being able to try on anything <laughs> you want to try on, boxes and boxes, and we've just been playing and having fun. Yeah. And tonight we're gonna be bad again. We're gonna have pizza. Yeah, we're having pizza. I haven't had pizza in forever. I have I have not had well, I've had mm. pizza. Um, but I have not eaten today. I'm trying to save my calories because I'm going to pig out on pizza. But there's also that we're going to, and I'm going to try to enclose the footage in here. I'm not too sure what I'll get, but there's also, um, a launch. Oh, that's right. There's a launch. There's a rocket launch today. So we we're going to go outside because if, when we go out by my pond area in the back, well, she'll be able, Monty will be able to uh, get the footage yeah. there to, um, and see the rocket go up. And then she'll be able to experience the sonic boom where you're home when you're so close oh to, my gosh. I'm, I'm only about 30 miles away from Cape Canaveral. So when the rocket goes up, you could feel that once it passes like a certain don't quote me on this because I'm not a rocket scientist, okay? I think it's when it passes the, the like, leaves the atmosphere or something along those lines, you could feel everything shake. The whole house shakes, the windows shake. Wow. It, it almost feels like it's an earthquake. That's going to be wild. I can't wait to experience that. Yeah. Never. And you see that often then? Oh, yeah. I see it often out the window. When, uh, when I was, when I was teaching, I would take the kids out to the play area so they could see the launches. Wow. Yeah. It's really exciting. Amazing. Amazing. So that's, what's going to be yeah. inserted at the end of this, whatever footage I end up getting, but there's also going to be part two to this vlog because our vacation continues after we leave here, but I'm not going to give any of it away yet. And, and I, I wish I was gone. I you. know. I know. <laughs> And almost happened. I know. It almost happened. But so this is part one, and it's going to end with that footage and a big hug to my bestie. Oh, my oh, gosh. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. You are awesome. And um, I'm going to cry again. <laughs> no, don't cry. Because you'll cry as much of my makeup. But anyways, thank you all so much for all your support. Bye. Love you all. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.